Hello folks, Mr. Raven here and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Um Yeah, it's Saturday and uh, I thought I'll I'll stream. Um I think I'll be streaming for four, maybe five hours. Um see if we can't uh, get the storyline done here in uh, Red Dead Redemption. So yeah, let's let's try it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see here. Actually, don't. Oh, there we were. I was about to say we don't have any missions, but we do. See what uh, Osea got to say. Osea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Another bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Hmm. Fancy house. Didn't even get a chance to uh, do my hair and take the side off my chin. Uh, not the side of my chin. Side of my ear. <laughs> off my chin. Something like that. I don't know. You arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war, and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. 
I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. Yeah, I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and oh. welcome once again to Santa Anita. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to run. Uh, the mayor he was wearing a top hat, right? <laughs> That's not the mayor. Can't remember how the mayor looked. I think that's the mayor. Hello. I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. But, Mr. Miller, the Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, we'll see you and me cool off. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sleep it off.
Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Need to rejoin the party. Yes. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know her. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign up in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Yeah, fancy fireworks. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! It will not have standard slip! I'm sorry, sir, but the party's in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. Forgive me. I was unaware. Up in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. So she's just looking at him. At him. Look at me. Who do you think you are? What? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. That's it! Guards! Guards! We have an intruder! What do you want me to do then? <sighs> Retry from checkpoint. I thought I just wanted access to the room. Then I could just... Is 
everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. The telephone is keeps ringing. Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight! <sighs> See if we can figure out what to do now. Maybe I just want to listen in him on him picking the phone, maybe? I was never here. Sneaky, sneaky. Don't ever underestimate the power of the sneakiness. Hi there, mister. Need to mingle a little bit here. She liked that. Hello, sir. What are you feeling? How's it going with you? As well as can be expected. Evening, folks. Hello, sir. How are you? Evening, all. Nice to see you, sir. I was hoping you'd be here. How are you all doing? Good evening, ladies. Bonjour. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Dog. Monsieur? Hi, Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> Cheerio. Oh, gal. Eh, seem the uh, shadow rendering is a little bugged. What is your problem? Hello. Evening, folks. Bonjour. Good evening. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. He's standing in the flowers. That's that seems appropriate. Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? Plenty of money, Musu, here, of course. And I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. The city bank? Maybe. And this stuff one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about. And I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on.
Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. <laughs> if you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Because all of his idea has been perfect. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Why do I wear my hat? I didn't ask for him to wear his hat. Stupid author. No hats. Oops. Uh. Um Oh yeah, I forgot the <laughs> bowler hat. It's not a pretty hat. That's why I'm wearing no hats. It's outfits. I like the outfit. I don't like the hat. Shave. Can't I shave the sides without uh, uh... So I can. Without doing anything with the beer. And that should be five too. If this is five, it should be five. It should be five two. And this one, none at all. He got, he got nice eyes, like blue greenish. Shippe, look at that handsome man. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Do we have anything to give to the? Um, the gang. Oh, that's upstairs. Too. God. Get the hell up! What's going on? You're interrupting my beauty rest. Psst. Not gonna. It's not gonna help. Old man. Uh, no, not Sid. Have anything to give? I only have 5,000 for her. Ten? I'm not sure. I didn't read. I just thought. Hmm. So let's give that away. 
And that away. And that away. And yeah, what the heck, why not? Got 53,000. Oh, 5,300? I don't know anything else to donate, so let's just do that. That's 33 bucks. Bad. Okay, let's see here. Um, got some question marks. Oh, should I should um, I I should meet uh, Mary? Is that her name? Father. Yeah, Mary. Let's go meet Mary. Uh, no. What? Come again? Thank you. Weird. Mary seems like a nice girl. And I kick him. Nope. Oh, stupid man. That's how you get a good pain. Hmm. Can't can't greet Lenny. Okay. Asking my question and just writing off. <laughs> Write me a letter. Yep. Turn off. Thanks. So. Seems like Rick is getting better. Okay, let's try and right. Where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on, see if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh, uh, I go about finding more help. Uh. Okay. Help! Somebody help! Uh. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, okay, that was a bird that had that sound, right? That's how we row. Oh, please, please, please untie me now. I don't need to hurry, do we? Would you please undo these ropes? Yeah, you're working on it. I just need to loot first. Because you probably. Why can't I cannot loot this guy? Hey, I can't move like this, please. Okay, take it easy. Uh, country. Sorry, I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the law you showed up when you did. <sighs> you saved my honor. Christ. And I don't want to ride indoors. Oh, well. 
well, let's just dump them out here. Get easy, woman. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Which sack? This one? An angel. Where's my stupid horse? Are you trying to get eaten by an alligator? Or a crocodile? Stupid horse. Take it easy. Let's get to Mary. Oops. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Who's, who's shooting at me now? Oh my god. Disturbing the peace. <laughs> Nobody knows who's I, who I am. Who's, who's I am? It's just... Uh, oh my god, I'm dirty. Got blood on me and I got... Mud on me. Maybe I should take a sh take a bath before Mary. I think I'm meeting her at the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm wanted. Cool. Guess it's nice to be wanted. Right? Question mark. You can't be here. Bad move. What? Ah, why? Why? Have I forgotten something since last time I streamed? Well, guess I have a high bounty. Uh, don't kill my horse. They kind of like um, shoot first, ask later kind of cops. It's insane if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, I hit out of sounds. Don't worry. That's weird. Oh no, lawmans. It's not me. No, it's not me. Easy now. Why are you so stupid, horse? Oh, he's uh, he's uh, he's tired. 
Oh, which button is it? Oh, I don't want to get off. Okay, uh, let's get a uh, bouncy higher. Why not? Shoot his horse. Oh, the bounce is going up when I shoot his horse. Might as well shoot the stupid cop. Make it more expensive to get rid of the law. It's irritating. Where is the nearest post office? I kinda want to get rid of that stupid. Maybe I should go to Rhodes. Is there a city up here I haven't been to? Yeah, let's try that. Let's follow this road. Can I feed the horse? Give it something. Don't have any stamina thingy. Raspberry carrots, wild carrots, let's go with that. Well, nothing goes as a plant, but hey, <laughs> stupid cops. Just because I, just because I'm a cop killer, doesn't mean that they have to shoot me. Side, you know, could just let me be. Ugh. Boundary two hundred and thirty dollars. That was a lot of money back then. You know, that's like, I don't know, a million today, something. Let's see if there's any towns down here with a post office. But I think the post office is often related to the um, train station. And I can't see any train station tracks down, down this way, so yeah. I'm not actually sure. Well, this is just going around and into the city from the other side. The post office is already down there. I think I need to take the other the road here. This going back to yeah, that's that's going back to the uh, city city as well. So I think I think I think I better turn around. Oh yeah, I'm riding the mud. Let's try and go this way. Any cities on the sign? You okay, boy? Van Horn? Annisburg? Oh, wrong but button. Wrong button. Hmm. Well, let's try that way then. See if Van Horn or um, Annisburg. Okay, <laughs> I was coming back, so if you're not hungry and thirsty anymore, yeah, well, I won't help you. Because then it's probably all a lie. Oh, train tracks. Let's see what we're coming to first. 
and a spark or or oh, stand the other one. I can't remember now. Shoom. How far am I? Uh, uh, and went on. What's that the name? The trading outpost. Dead horse? Just a tired horse. Huh. Who would kill a horse? Sounds like some other is waging war. Let's oh, the post office. Maybe we can get rid of these stupid bounties. Hey. Bounties. It bounties. Damn, you've been busy. You got the money to pay all this off? <laughs> yeah. Got plenty of money. Cause I'm a successful crook. Let's go back to that. Now we're here. Might as well. Right. Question mark. Let's see what the question mark is. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. i fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose running to shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Marjorie? Everything okay? Bertram like a sherry. Imagine saving people, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little no, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do <laughs> woof, something, woof. you to eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sherry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Uh, 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 I don't want to hit you. Oh, can, I, I can't remember the, uh, the, um... Is it F? Oh, F seems to work. He's actually a pretty good fighter. There's no putting this off. Give him a whack. Your head's gonna pop off. Mean. Easy boy. You don't stop that one. I'll give you a spanking. Mean man. How did that fit? Who's talking now? Huh? Come here. 
a Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you <laughs> for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Um, hmm. Hello, gentlemen. Mr. Hello. Uh, where did I put my um? Set like a. Oops, sorry. No, I don't wanna. You enjoy yanking my chain? You through? I'll back you up. I'll back you up. Hey, I'm stuck. Ah! Okay, I just got all the ma all the city mad. Ah! Ozzy, save me! Woohoo! Come on, break free. Let's get closer in. We got you all. Okay, now they're starting shooting. Oh my freaking god. What just happened there? We got from let's just fight and all pulling that weapons. Damn you. 150 dollars from dying that's expensive uh where's my on the other side See here, Magnifico. Can we see Magnifico? He's over here. Stupid people of this stupid van, van something. Don't want anything to do with this stupid town. Just running around and shooting me for no reason yeah. pisses me off <clears throat> what that what's wrong with you Rick I'm sorry dude
Why do you keep running away? You are a bad horse. I like the Morty better. I miss Morty. My black beauty. Yeah, you're going in. Probably guilty. Oh. Are you? A predator nearby. Predator nearby. Dense, dense. Who should we cross here? Ah, went okay. Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus! Ah. Stay away from me! <sighs> hey! Partner, come Help back me. here! Don't really have to. Running ain't solving anything. Look, you got the wrong end of this. Uh. Hey, do you talk? I'm going in on the telephone. You're starting to irritate me. Where did he go? He's sitting in a tree somewhere. Well, I can shoot you down. said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, hold on there. Ah, so long, damn it. dummy. Where are you?
White way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pah. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha. Shut up, you <laughs> dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you are going to be pulling oh. rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. Oh, uh, no. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! <laughs> I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Oh, well, there you are. Oh, there you both are. What the heck? Um... That is one white horse. Okay, boy. Come on. Yeah, follow me. Um... I have no idea why that horse suddenly is here. That do not make sense. I want to go to Mary. And I'll bring the white horse. Apparently. Let's see what Mary mission. The Mary mission brings us. Hmm. Probably gonna help her with something, and probably falls in love with me again. Come on, Whitey. I think it got spooked. At least we can go into. Um, to the town now. He's in there, uh, no. No. Yep. Which one was it again? Oh, uh, why can't I remember? No. Oh, yeah. Tap first, that's the one.